Welcome to Sky Podcast, a Spotify exclusive. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another Sky Podcast. You know what Shai told me earlier, and Anjali? What? Make sure Slater's hair is not standing up for your podcast. Why? I'm like, I did last time. I told him his hair was standing, but he told me it's part of his charm. It's my brand. <laughs> I'm happy to see that you're still here. No, you're just going to go. You're just going to go. And you're just going to go. Wow. Like <laughs> yeah. ah, that. Okay, today we have another letter from the sky. Mm-hmm. And it's a short one. The title is Wala Nang Spark. Basically, mm. yun na yun. <laughs> yun na yun letter. Sabi niya, Hi, good day, Sky parents. I just wanted to share that me and my ex-boyfriend broke up last year. I don't know what's going on because he told me out of nowhere that our relationship is na wala na ng spark. He's always busy and here I am just waiting for him. I'm not pressuring him to do anything but there was a time that I complained that he's not making an effort to see me mm. and then suddenly he told me na wala na kaming spark. I felt betrayed and hurt while I'm pouring all my love and trust. Ah. Mm. Pero they broke up na last year pa. They broke up na, pero feeling ko she hasn't she's, gotten over it uh, yet. So how long do you think is ideal to get over someone? Um, I don't know because I have friends that get over their significant others in weeks and they have some that takes years. Oh, it depends no. how solid the relationship was or like how much of a shock it was, I think. Yes, and how much out there you are. Kung parang you're surrounded with a lot of people, yeah. you're surrounded busy with a lot of opportunities, yeah. busy ka, I think you get over it quickly. Yeah. So parang, di ba, for example... Pero syempre, feeling ko, if matagal na kayo, tapos biglaan yung breakup, like you didn't see it coming, mm-hmm. that's probably when it's gonna take a while for you to recover. Like wala kang closure, so you're always thinking in your head, like, what the hell did I do wrong? Para sa akin, it's more of, especially pag bago, or if it's your first few relationships, parang mabigat kasi talaga yung binibigay mo na um, parang this is the one. Parang ganyan. Yeah. And the more you like get over someone, parang nasanay ka na na, okay, some relationships just aren't meant to last. Some relationships parang at first akala mo ito na talaga and then hindi pala. And then parang... The cycle of trial and yes. error. You, you get accustomed to it. Uh, yeah. Or you just found the person that you really feel like ito na talaga siya pero parang iniwan talaga ako. Parang you couldn't find someone else talaga to replace him. So that's when it takes a while to recover. Yes. Mm-mm. Basically. But from my experience, it's more of just getting yourself out there helps you recover. Mm-hmm. Getting to know other people, dating around again, just so, not, hindi to the point na kailangan kong mag-relationship. It's just to, to see what's out there in the world. To me, okay din yun to get out there. Some people aren't ready right yes. off the bat. Uh-oh. But what I always tell to my friends is, kunyari, ayaw niya talaga magka-relationship, hindi pa siya over sa ex niya, but somebody's already making her lande or courting her. Mm. I always say, you don't block it off completely. You know, pampahaba lang ng hair. Just let yourself wow. feel good. Yeah. I say that. I mean, oh. you don't have to cock block him right away. Pampahaba Just... ng hair, free dinner. <laughs> oh my, grabe na yung free dinner. <laughs> free movie. <laughs> but you know, just to... Because sometimes when you break up with someone or when you're broken up with, yeah. mababa yung tingin mo sa sarili mo. Parang yes. yung self-worth mo na affected rin. Mm-hmm. So when somebody else treats you good and, you know, puts you on a pedestal, syempre, pag oh. naniligaw sa'yo, di ba? It also is nice so that parang parang nadiligan yung plant. Yes, and you have now a point of comparison kasi syempre, nag-break up kayo for some reason and then may bago kang suitor or bagong naliligaw sa'yo na parang, ah, oh, he's treating me well. And my boyfriend didn't treat me well. Parang uh, not may konting ganyan. It's not like may panakiputas ka, but just something to make you feel better in the time that you need it. Mm. Yeah. You know, maybe I keep telling my friends, alam mo, pray ka ng pray kay God, baka yun na yung answer ni God sa'yo. Like, okay, uh, here's this person who's gonna make you feel better, so don't block everything that comes your way. But uh, I also feel like it's really not jumping into another relationship or dating around that can help you move on, but mm-hmm. it's really working on yourself. And I know that sounds so cliche, yep. but it's really true. Like, the yep. more secure you are with yourself, the more you know, okay... Um, this is why this relationship in the past didn't work. This is what I need to be in the future. Like, I need to know that I'm worth this. I won't allow this to happen to me anymore. Alam you mo know? yung mga kaibigan natin na kaka-break up lang and then biglang grabe mag-gym. 
Yeah. Oh, I think I think that's a good way though of going about it. Yeah, like, or parang, cutting your hair, like whatever it is, or keeping yourself busy, finding a new hobby. Uh, yeah. Basta ako pag yung friend ko going through heartache, I'm there the next day. Whatever <laughs> you want, tamang kita. That wow. really helps, huh? That really helps when you have a strong support system. Yes. Because it's when you're alone that you go crazy, right? Uh, like your mind just doesn't stop spiraling. Hey, na lang puputa. Yeah. Yeah. But in the case of our letter sender, she was saying na she doesn't get now na bakit wala nang spark yung sinabi mm. ng guy sa kanya. And I feel like with all relationships, I was just actually watching this thing on TikTok again. TikToker. <laughs> and um, she was saying that she met with a, I don't know what you call it, like a relationship love psychologist something. A love expert. A love expert, let's just say. And each relationship, you go through different cycles pala. Okay. So when you're first uh, don't quote me verbatim on this because I don't super remember. It's just 15 seconds, right? Okay. So let's just say when you first meet someone and you get together, that's your honeymoon stage. Mm -hmm. And it lasts for about one to two years. Okay. After that honeymoon stage, oh, in that honeymoon stage, because you're so infatuated and in love with the person you're with, mm -hmm. you only see the good parts. You only see the highlights. You only see, oh, he's so cute. Oh, he's like this. He's like that. You mm. don't see all of the red flags. <laughs> Sometimes you are blinded by love. Mm. The second phase is when you hit about the two-year mark now. Mm. And it's when you see like a little bit of struggle in your relationship or you see, okay, I'm, I don't like this part of him or this is where we can't get along super. Mm -hmm. And then that lasts for about two to five years. Okay. So matagal. So you know yung make or break daw sa couple. Okay. Hindi pala, that's the next phase. Yung five, pag, pag nag-last kayo ng second phase na yon. Mm. Diba? Kasi sometimes, okay, a little struggle by him out the door. Okay. Diba? Pag nag kayo ng five years, you go on to the next phase, which is, I don't know what it's called, but it's like the five to seven year mark. Okay. So that's the make or break. Because mm. that's when you really get in it. Like, either you, you, you're fighting or you're resolving things. Mm. Okay? Okay. And if you make it through that five year mark or seven year mark, diba? They, they always say there's a seven year itch or whatever. Mm. Then that's when you get to the enduring love. Na, ah. Okay, you guys have really decided to fight through this, all of the challenges. Partner na talaga kayo, you've chosen each other, this is it. And then because of that, you really chose each other now, and you know each other in and out, then you go back to the honeymoon phase. How many years are we? Uh, I don't know, 2014? I don't know. Oh my god, we're nine years? Nine years are we? Oh my god. I think so. uh, I have, I've been high five. So, <laughs> pero ako nandun pa ako sa nakikita ko lahat ng flows mo. <gasps> How dare you! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, I, I would agree, I would agree, mm -hmm. pero parang it shouldn't still be so much of an effort to make the relationship work. No, I agree with that. But, kasi yung letter sender sabi niya, wala na daw spark. Feeling ko that's just a natural course of the relationship, na mawalan yung spark. Mm. But that spark turns into something else. Yes. Diba? Sa akin naman, there are a lot of reasons why a relationship goes sour. Yeah, that's true. Na parang long-term relationship kayo, and then after a few years, parang mas nakikita mo na ah, hindi ko pala type or you have mga turn-offs from certain that you didn't things. See yes, before. pero parang feeling ko it's from the way that the letter was phrased. I don't know which exactly, pero yung kotob ko lang is like you're waiting on your man too much. Parang, you should be working on yourself as well. If you guys want to hear the full episode, you can... Check us out on Spotify. Spotify, Spotify, Spotify. Spotify.